Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, December 5th. I am here with Dr. Lieber, who is the principal of the middle school, as well as three incredible sixth graders, and we are going to talk about Week Without Walls, which is um, the week, this is the week, and every grade level has had pretty incredible things going on. Dr. Lieber is going to tell us a bit about it, and then we'll hear from the students, but as I pass the microphone down, if you could just introduce yourselves, that would be great. Hello, my name is Alhamma Moli. I'm a sixth grade student, and I'm in um, my SWAT class is Mr. Uh, Miss Erico. Hi, my name is Ruth Ann Zacharia. I'm in sixth grade, and I've been to ASD for this is my fourth year. Hi, I'm Laith Eunice, and I've been at ASD for about seven years, and my SWAT teacher is Mr. Erico. Hi, I'm Mr. Lieber, and I've been here for six years. Um, so Week Without Walls is um, arguably the most exciting week um, of the school year. We uh, are just getting ready. Uh, we're, we're taping the day before, so we're just getting ready to go to the airport to pick up the 7th grade and the sixth, the 8th grade who are coming back. 8th grade has been in two sites in Malaysia and then also a group in Sri Lanka. And they're, they're involved in service projects and a lot of adventure as well. The seventh grade has been in uh, two different locations in the United Arab Emirates and uh, involving themselves in a, a lot of adventure. So this week for the sixth grade, we do really three very different things. We have one day where our students go to the Zubara Fort and they learn about uh, an early, early settlement um, on the coast in Qatar. Uh, then they spend a Another day in Al Khor, where they do some kayaking and uh, some cleanup at Al Khor Island, and then the third day they will spend that we spent uh, here at the school where our students took the model of our field day, and we invited a Sri Lankan school to come, and our students actually put on the field day for the uh, Sri Lankan students. So we've asked each student to talk about uh, what was the most fun and then the thing that they probably learned the most from. So let's do the what was most fun first, and then we'll come back and do the um, what you learned the most of. So probably the most fun I've had doing in Week Without Walls was the trash cleanup in Al Khor because um, it's, it's very sad to see how people litter in an environment that's a desert, but then it's... There's only one forest environment, and it's the mangroves. So it's sad to see them litter. So I liked picking up the trash, and I think it might have saved a few trees. So it made me feel good, and it was really fun to help the environment. The thing that I enjoyed most was kayaking because um, I like water. It's really fun to play, and I got to learn a new skill. And kayaking is something that I really wanted to do for a while, and I got to do it with friends. I also enjoyed mostly the kayaking because when we went, we got to pick our partner. So I picked my best friend, and then we got, we got to kayak, and I learned really new skills, and I liked how they taught us how to pick up and paddle right. And then the most fun I had was when we went through the mangroves and looked at the tree, and they explained how the plants send their root up, roots up to send out seeds and to breathe. And I mostly had fun when we came back and then parked our kayaks. So one of the things that's so great about your responses is in addition to talking about what was fun, you also all talked about what you learned, which is, um, I think, middle school philosophy, Dr. Lieber. So um, in addition to the things you said, other learnings that would be important to capture? I learned mostly when we went out with to uh, Zawara Fort. I learned that if you look at something from a different point of view, you can get new stuff and learn new stuff from it. When uh, when I looked at the uh, El Zubara Fort and El, the old village that we found that they found, I really learned that a city can start out really poor and improve slowly one year after another. And that archaeologist's job is really important. It's not just digging. It, it, can imp it can find out and capture new stuff nobody knew about. Um, the most um, um, important thing that I learned um, was from the Sri Lankan school project when the Sri Lankan kids came over. And on the day I had, uh, I, there were third graders. And I learned that 
no matter how rich or how poor you are, you can all have the same amount of fun. And so the experience that we got from Field Day was different from the way that the Sri Lankan kids um, ha- enjoyed it because they got to enjoy something that they've never, ever experienced before, whereas we get to do this, like, every year at least once. And so the, it doesn't matter how wealthy you are. It just matters on how much fun you get. I also learned the same from having the kids come over for the field day. And for me, it was the same, the third graders. And when I saw them just smiling and having the most fun they've ever had, it it just really made my day. And from that, I saw it doesn't matter how different you can be. If You can be anything, but everyone's the same. Everyone does... Yeah, everything the same because they eat the same. They need everything. They need everything that they would need. So, and you can still have fun with that. And I learned that you you can be wealthy. You can be poor. You can be anyone, everyone. It doesn't matter who you are, but you can have fun and you can enjoy what you're doing. It sounds it sounds like what you experienced was um, differences in culture and differences in language and even differences in how much money economically but you all found the same things to be fun kind of interesting so thanks guys well that's Sahifa for this week and um, you know there's really no better testimony to our ASD mission and vision and school than to hear it embodied in our students So know that you all did that. You all talk about learning in the ways that we um, want you to be achieving learning. And you also talk about the importance of positive, active, global citizenry. And it makes us very proud of you. Okay. That's Sahifa this week. Thank you.